Jessica, Antoinette, there's a lot going on here as the desperate search for Mohamed Fofana enters day two. Crews started up here around 8 o'clock this morning. I'll give you a look at just how busy it is here. The state police underwater recovery unit is here. The Boston Fire dive team, as well as we saw some canines doing a sweep. But so far, no sign of Mohamed. Please, people, help me for find Mohamed for me. This is four year old Mohamed Fofana, last seen Sunday night on Castle Island around 7 p.m. The boy's grandfather telling New Center 5 he brought Mohamed and his older sister here to the playground where it was very crowded. He says he was on the phone for 10 to 15 minutes, and when it was time to go, he couldn't find Mohamed. I called his sister to come. He said, Where's your brother? I got on. I said I started checking around. I started checking around. I started checking around. The boy's mother says he has autism and is nonverbal. Mommy problem. Mommy is autistic baby. Mommy no talk. They say nothing. Police say he was wearing a gray hooded sweatshirt, blue jeans, and blue Crocs style footwear when he disappeared. We're told Muhammad is a kindergartner at the Joseph Lee School in Dorchester. Boston Public Schools releasing a statement saying in part, we are deeply concerned to hear of the disappearance of one of our students and our thoughts and prayers are with the family and the entire school community during this difficult time. Search efforts here are widespread with a Coast Guard helicopter, dive team, boats and police on seen as the little boy's mother pleads for help to bring him home. If you saw somebody Ivy Mohammed, please help me for the help me to give it to me, my little baby. Please. Now the grandfather told us he had only been here once before and that he brought the kids here because they wanted to see the ocean. Meanwhile, we're told counselors will be available at Muhammad's school for anyone who needs support and the search here on Castle Island will continue throughout the day. We're live in South Boston, Brianna Borgi, WCVB News Center 5.